Alright people, welcome back to the card review. So before we begin, uh, at this point it definitely seems like we're going to be changing it up. We're going to be dropping card review down to one day per week, of course on Mondays, and Wednesdays should be taken up by an additional Daily Duels, a uh, kind of like a bonus Daily Duels on Wednesday, kind of like the Hump Day uh, bonus. Uh, you get two Daily Duels, you get one normal being of course Cleese, and another additional one which will be a tag, that way we have three normal and three tags, that way we can rotate more tag partners. I uh, asked you guys and it was pretty much undisputed. At this point, there's not a single person that's like, no, give me my second card of you. They're like, you know what, let's go ahead and get that, that third tag in. So, card of you of course we drop down to once per week, which is fine, you know, uh, gives me a lot more cards to go ahead and build up and, you know, I uh, won't eventually catch up and be like, oh, now i got no more cards to you, so let's review all cards. So, at this point, if I'm only reviewing one card per week, it definitely seems like I should always have something new to talk about. Because just so many new cards come out in Yu-Gi-Oh! so quickly that, you know, uh, one, talking about it once per week is not enough. I mean, I mean, look at freaking like, DPYG. I mean, that man talks about, what, two, three cards each, <laughs> each day? So, um, definitely, I should be able to go ahead and do this. So... Uh, speaking about Wednesdays and Cleese, so we got a card here for Cleese that's just stupidly busted. <laughs> so today we are looking at Wavering Eyes, and you would think Wavering Eyes would be anti-pendulums, but Cleese break the hell out of it. So let's go ahead and look at it. So Wavering Eyes, it's a quick play spell card. It reads, destroy as many cards in each player's pendulum zone as possible, then apply these effects in sequence depending on the number of cards destroyed by this effect. So, one or more. If like 500 damage to your opponent, two or more, you can add one pendulum monster from your deck to your hand. Three or more, you can banish one card on the field. And four or more, you can add one wavering eyes from your deck to your hand. So, it's supposed to be kind of like an anti-pendulum card, you know? Your opponent's playing pendulums, you go and play wavering eyes, kind of like just a, um, a heavy storm just for pendulum zones. Except please break the living hell out of this card, and it's a reason why, depending on how... Hard please get hit with this upcoming ban list. As I'm recording this, the ban list is not up, or I do not know of it as of yet. This this card could possibly make Cleese uh, the top tier. One of the th it's already one of the top tier decks. I believe it's deck number three. But you know, depending on what the list is, it could easily push, especially on ARG's list. Like you, you'll probably be seeing Cleese top a whole bunch of them ARG tournaments just because of how they barely hit Cleese and anything. So of course, ARG's list they went ahead and put. A summoner's art down to two, and then they say because of wavering eyes. That doesn't hurt at all. You know, they still got two scout, two summoners art, three wavering eyes. Like, so you're probably wondering, like, I don't get it. I don't get it. What's so good about this card? It's really the second effect. The second effect is what makes it good. So two or more. You can add one pendulum monster from your deck to your hand, your main deck to your hand. So it literally is another card to search for scout. And a quick one at that, and a quick one at that. Because, of course, you know, there's a couple of uh, cards like, uh, you know, Ada's Pendulum Dragon. And yeah, it searches for Scout, but it's a little slow. So, you know, it's one turn later. You know, it's during your end phase. You know, the same thing with, uh, what's the name of that monster? It's like a Machine 1500. I forgot what its name is. But you get to go ahead and search for a, a, a Pendulum, I think like an Earth Pendulum Monster during the end phase. I forgot his name. I used to play him in Cleese. But, once again, slow. It's during the end phase. Slow. This card, this is just as quick as uh, as Summoner's Art. So you immediately get to go ahead and grab that scout and search that turn. So essentially it's worse than Summoner's Art just because Summoner's Art is not a neg. Because essentially this card in a sense is kind of neg, but then in a sense it's not. So you have some, you have Wavering Eyes in your hand. You have two random pendulums, two random cleaves. It doesn't matter. Go ahead and put them in your pendulum scout. They don't have to be equal or nothing. Play Wavering Eyes. Destroy them two clean monsters. Search for Scout and it's look 500 to your opponent. Scout. Go ahead and pay, put Scout. Scout. Pay for 800. Search for your other scale. You know, go ahead and search for a monolith. Whatever. Play that monolith and then pendulum summon them two monsters that you just destroyed with Wavering Eyes. Because of course they went back to the deck. Summon them back to the field. So are you really nagging? No, you're not. And I've seen it a ton of times. This card has been leading to Cleese being able to drop first turn scout, I mean first turn scout, first turn tower slash killer consistently. I think like 90% of the time, you're going to get first turn killer. Like, if that's not OP enough, then yeah, you know, so, and, and it's not, you can only activate one turn, and, and if it's a mirror match, if it's a mirror match, oh, for God's sakes, if it's a mirror match, and your opponent has their scale set up, you have your fucking, you set your scale, Wavering Eyes, destroy all four, so there goes your fucking scout, 
unless your opponent has a Wavering Horizon in their chain, but, you know, this says that they don't. So, I'm, it's a mirror match between uh, Cleats. So, they have their Pendulum Scales. I have my Pendulum. I set my Pendulum Scales. Wavering Eyes. Destroy all four. You get all the effects. So, I get another Wavering Eyes to be played later. I get the Banisher card on the field, which, of course, I'm Banisher. Is. I get to search for my Scout. I get to inflict 800. They lost their Scout and their Pendulum Scale. Their Scale is broken. Like, Holy crap, like, it's a good thing that this is a quick play spell, because then, of course, if you have a way of then you can chain it and get the bonuses. So, um, you know, it's going to be going back and forth between Cleave Mirror Match. I definitely think Cleave is going to shoot out. Maybe, depending on how hard Necros get hit, maybe deck number two, but I could possibly see them going to deck number one. You know, they definitely, because I mean, you need to hit. And that's coming from Cleave Player. And I'm, the thing is, I'm not being biased. I definitely think this is broken and should be hit, yet... I'm getting it. <laughs> like, I, I, I'm doing this. I'm doing this. Of course, on uh, Daily Duels on Wednesday, I'm going to be trying this shit out. You know, I, I'm going to be trying this shit out because I bet it's fucking stupid as hell. I'm already making Cleese. You know, I already got some Cleese cards in the mail. And I've already ordered my fucking play set of Waving Eyes. So let's go ahead and get stupid with it. You know, uh, you know, lose one turn. Killer. The consistency. It, it's too much. The Pendulum Blaze deck. Cleese are too much. Cleese are too much. We thought Cleese were dead. We are like, what? Well, scout down to two. Uh, Sacrifice down to one, Vanny's down to one, Skill down to one. Oh wow, Cleese are dead, Cleese are done. And Cleese are about to turn around and smack us in the face and say, Who the fuck did you say was done? We're motherfucking Cleese. We're the first, we're the best. <laughs> and holy shit. So this card's super busted, super busted. It's just another consistency card situation for Cleese. So we can't really. Hitting summoners like, what does that do? You know, what does that do? They'll just replace it with more Wavering Knight, which is exactly the same thing. And. Uh, there's apparently, there are some deck that topped the tournament. And it was literally a turbo fucking Klee Wavering Eyes deck. I shit you not. It was like, all the Klees. Like, all of them. Like, two Scout, three Monolith, three Disc, three, 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 everybody. Upstart, Wavering Eyes, Summoner's Art, Sacrifice. Into the Void. Into the fucking Void to draw another card. Because they're going to lose their hand in their inventory. Because they don't give a fucking shit. Because they're going to drop Killer. And the guy said that he literally just killed it everybody. Killer, 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 and I think he topped like 16. Like, that's fucking ridiculous. And he was, and, and that's it. No back row. No, no, <laughs> no, uh, no, no skill drain, no vanity, no lose one turn. And he got the top 16. Like that. Like, that's crazy. That's fucking insane. So, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm, I'm gonna do sim something similar like that, except I'm not gonna trouble it. Because I think the Terror Wing is a little bit dumb, you know? The Upstart, that's fine. The Wavering Eyes, that's fine. The Summon's Art, that's fine. But, you know, the, 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 the Into the Void, that's dumb because, you know, you, the click, when you discard your Cleaves, then I think they go to the Graveyard, so you're losing them. It's not like they go to the extra deck, so that's dumb. And, uh, I cut down the Cleaves a little bit, but, you know, I'm doing what he's doing, the pseudo turbo, except... I'm actually running the background. I'm running the Vanny. I'm running Skill Drain. I'm running the Lose One Turn. So you're either gonna get fucked up by my Lose One Turn, you're gonna get fucked up by the fact that I'm running a Pendulum the deck and I'm gonna out resource you, or I'm gonna just drop Kill on your ass and you're gonna lose that way. Like, it's fucking ridiculous. And, you know, I, I probably jumped the gun. I purchased the deck already uh, before the ban list, but I wanted to jump the gun because I think the, the prices were pretty well. You know, low retrospect to what they will be if this doesn't get addressed on this upcoming list, you know? And, of course, with the division with, uh, you know, ARG and Konami, you know, the price is wa wavering. Cause depending on how hard Konami hits Cleaves and how ARG barely hit Cleaves, you know, depending on which tournament you go to, what, they pray, what prices, and it's, it's, it's just bad. It's just bad, but I'm getting off topic. The point is, is that I've already picked up the deck, and like I said, if this shit doesn't get hit hard enough, like, I could possibly see... This, you know, lose one turn, shooting up to like a $50 card. Uh, Wavering Eyes can, you know, I think it's like a $4 card right now. I could probably show it up to like a $10 card. So, uh, you know, this deck, this deck, you know, it's already dumb. I think the biggest problem is that the deck is kind of expensive because you got to buy it. You got to have a place that all, pretty much all the Cleese. So, yeah, you got to have... Yeah, I mean, usually with Cleese, you know, you 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 run, you know, your triple, your triple uh, stealth, which is fine. He's kind of expensive. He's like eighteen bucks, but you know, you run triple stealth. But in this version of Cleese, you gotta run triple of almost all the Cleese, and even if they're not being ran as much, they're still kind of expensive. So you still, you yes, you gotta run triple disc. This is like a twenty dollar card. Yes, you gotta run triple Mono with Mono is a twenty dollar card. You know, so the deck was fairly expensive for me. Like I said, it was like two hundred dollars, but I think it was worth the pickup because you know what? I wanted to play Cleese. I wanted to play a pendulum based deck anyway. I was like, fuck it. You know what? Cleese are still busted. I don't know why people don't think Cleese are still busted. People are like, oh, Cleese are like a tier two deck. Like, no, nah, you can eat a fat one. Like, no, 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 no. So plus with wavering eyes, the addition of wavering eyes, it just gets even worse. So. 
I don't know. I don't know. I was sitting there pondering, and I was like, how the fuck do you hit Cleese? And I think what you might have to do, and I think this might be a little bit strange, I definitely think scout down to one. Uh, because I was thinking before, you know, maybe lower summoner's art, but whatever we take out with summoner's art, you just replace with wavering eyes. So to lower the consistency of just getting that play in general, you put scout down to one, which will, of course, hurt how many... Uh, summoners that you play and how many uh, wavering eyes you play because you don't get to a wavering eye search, wavering eye search, wavering eye search, you know. Um, uh, I probably still keep sacrifice at one just because if how powerful equip is, you know, can't be destroyed in battle, gains additional attack, you get the search off, you and uh, counts as the double tributes. I probably keep sacrifice at one, scout at one, sacrifice at one, and this one's probably the most extreme, but. With how consistent Wavering Eyes can pull off the first turn killer plays, even if we drop Scout down to one, that can still pull it off. So, and you guys might totally agree with this one, but I'm probably going to have to say killer slash towers, banned. Because you really only need one. And when you summon it and your pump doesn't have an out to it, you lose. And doesn't that sound... You only need one. If it's pulled off, your opponent just loses the game. And if they don't have an out to it. Hmm, what does that sound like? Sounds like the gym lock to me, doesn't it? So, like I said, the deck doesn't need killer. You know, it has other cards. You can use that other card that's just as powerful, just not as bearing down as killer. Because people don't know, that minus 500, that makes a big difference. That means you pretty much have to summon a 3,500 beater just to crash into me. Because I'm a minus you by 500 with just killer's effect. And depending on, you know, my other zones, I could have a pendulum that, uh, you know, clean monster that says minus 300. Also, Wavering Eyes allows Cleese to actually do some exceed plays in personal. Because, of course, you're going to be destroying your own skill. So you could go ahead and go, all right, I'm going to, later in the duel, you can go like, all right, set this scale, set this scale, pendulum summon, wavering eyes, destroy my scale, search for a pendulum monster. Oh, look, I'm free my pendulum zones. I can actually, I can do my plays. So it actually gives Cleats even an access to an extra deck. So I guess I shouldn't run around and just be like, oh, fucking utopia, you know, too strong. But uh, it's just, this, this card does a lot for Cleats and it might be too much. Like I said, I think Scout should go to one, Sacrifice should stay at one, and Killer should be banned. Because at this point, it's just going to be too much. It's going to be too much. You know, people are going to pretty much have to be main decking cards to go ahead and take out Killer. Because if you're not main decking them, you don't get them, you're going to lose. You're going to get you're gonna get out resource. Like I said, Cleaves are the kind of deck, if they get first turn Scout, I said you got about two turns to either MSC at Scout or start taking over the duel before they out outpace you, out resource you. And that's how powerful Cleese are, you know. Don't fucking scoff at Cleese. Don't think that they're dead because they're fucking not and they will beat your fucking ass. Like I said, I'm picking them up. I know how buff they are. I know how strong they are, you know. Uh, I mean, I'd say they're what, their worst, you know, their worst match is maybe Burning Abyss, you know. And like I said, with Burning Abyss winning, especially winning that, I wouldn't be surprised if Burning Abyss get hit. But did Cleese win anything? No, they didn't. You know, and it's not like they were standing on the pinnacle at the top of the format like Necros. So I can easily see Konami just, you know, going completely over Cleese and they will regret it. They will fucking regret it, this upcoming format. Holy crap. So I'm done going off about this card. I just had to talk about this card because if you don't know, now you know. This card is fucking stupid in Cleese. <laughs> so tell me what you guys think about Wavering Eyes in the comment section below. Like I said, I'm making the Cleese. I already got what I got. I got my Summoner's Arts. I got my vanities, I got my scale drain, I have my upstarts, I have my scouts, and I have my desk. The rest of it's coming in the mail. You know, all of it, all of it, all of it in the mail. And I'm going to slap this deck together, run down the local, slap the shaft people, prepare, you know, even, you know, ARG, prepare yourself. Like, what? Oh, my card, my deck is already busted. Well, what? I got to go to your ARG list? Oh, uh, I guess I'll go ahead and take out a summoner's art. <laughs> Put in the Ryaki, why not? <laughs> you know? So, yeah. Super just wow. Wow. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Card Review. But, like I said, Card Review, uh, it should be ready. You'll probably still get a Card Review this Wednesday because I'm probably not going to be ready by this Wednesday to put the additional daily duels yet. But uh, I should be ready to do the changes by next week. So, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Tell me what you guys think about Wavering Eyes in the comments section below. And I will see you guys next Card Review. Alright, people. Thanks for watching.